Well, I'm really glad that that recording is not going out on the internet. But uh, you sound great, Dorothy. <laughs> Let us uh, come together in a time of confession and assurance. And our confession and assurance is prompted by the words of 1 John. 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. <clears throat> in it we read these words. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is, all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins. And in him is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. The word of the Lord. This is, a, this is a, a, an encouraging and a challenging word for us. Because I, I think I would be safe in saying that if I asked for a show of hands of people who no longer sin, uh, that we would have uh, no responses, no uh, raising of the hands to say, I don't sin anymore. Um, and I think that's probably pretty safe to say of those of you who are at home as well. We still sin. And so does that mean, according to John, according to his word inspired by God, that we are uh, therefore not one of Christ's children, one of God's children? Does that mean that we are cast out? No. What it means, however, is that God is continually working in us to clean out that sin. And we need to, because we are in Christ, we need to be actively working and constantly repenting and laying our sin before him, working to grow into maturity so that that sin is washed away. So that through the trials and, and temptations with which we are fixed, God uses them and his work and his Holy Spirit to refine us so that we do not sin. We have already been washed clean by the blood of Jesus but now we are growing, and we are learning, and we are being cleansed day by day so that we may be pure in word and in deed as we already are in spirit and in truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we come before you this morning with sins that have weighed us down, O oh God. We hear the words of John, your apostle. We hear you speaking through him to say that we, if we are in Christ, will not go on sinning. And we believe that to be true. And yet we also know that we have sinned. And so, Lord, we take some time this morning to silently lay before you our sins confessing to you 
what we have done or what we have left undone, what we have thought, what we have felt, what we have said. Lord, we lay those sins before you, asking for your forgiveness in Jesus. Please hear us as we silently pray. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for hearing our prayer. Thank you so much for your Son, Jesus, through whom we, for, we receive forgiveness. And thank you for your Holy Spirit that is always working within us and partnering with us to live more and more fully in the truth of who we are as your children. Help us, O oh God, not to dig in our heels and stubbornly resist the training of your Spirit. Help us, O oh God, to cast aside everything that weighs us down. Help us to live, O oh God, more and more each day in the truth that we are your children. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are God's children, adopted as his sons and daughters through Jesus Christ. And there will come a time when we do truly, truly no longer sin. And in the meantime, let us open up our hearts to allow the Spirit to truly work within us, to cleanse us and to grow us. Let us stand together and hum and contemplate upon these, the words of the song, Come to the Savior.